Hello, hello, I'm Ramin from UCL Economics and I would like to talk to you about referencing. Whenever it comes to essay writing, academics always talk about the need to get the citation or referencing right. First of all, don't be scared by these words, you know, referencing, citation, bibliography. They all mean one simple thing. Whenever in your essay you're using an idea or data from another source, just mention the name of that source. That's referencing. Now let me explain with some example. I picked this essay example from last year Royal Economic Society's Young Economist of the Year competition and made some slight changes to it. So let's have a look. This essay is about inequality, a topic that is close to my heart. And in its opening paragraph, it cites or mentions another study. So let's read. Will the legacy of COVID be an economically more unequal world? Prior to COVID, place of birth was the single most important factor that determined income. The citizenship premium using GDP per capita and individual's income percentile accounted for 90% of income variability. Milanovic, 2015. Now, an interesting opening. The essay starts to mention that the place of your birth plays a huge role in determining your place in the global income distribution. This is the concept of citizenship premium. Now, the author of the essay has borrowed this concept from the study done by Milanovic in 2015. So this is an example of in-text citation. Within the text of an essay, you mention the study where you borrowed your concept from. Now, we should see the full name of this study at the end of an essay, where we find the bibliography, the list of all these studies mentioned in the essay. So let's scroll down. Here's the bibliography. You see that it lists all the studies or sources that were mentioned in the essay alphabetically. And let's scroll down. Ah, here's the Milanovic study. Milanovic, this is the name of that study, Global Inequality of Opportunities, how much of our income is determined by where we live. And this is where the study, the journal that the study has been published, the Review of Economics and Statistics, which is among very reputable journals. Let me give you another example. In your essay, sometimes you have to mention economic data, income per capita, Gini coefficient, inflation rate. And you always have to mention the source where you get that data from. That source could be a website, it could be a book, it could be a policy report. So let's scroll down and have a look at an example. Here the essay mentions US growth is projected to reach 6.8% in 2021, the highest rate since 1984. World Bank 2021. This means that I got this data from this source. But what is this source? To find out more, let's go to bibliography. So let's scroll down. And here is our bibliography. We go right at the end and we find this source. World Bank 2021. It's actually a policy report titled Global Economic Prospects published by the World Bank Group, and we can access it by clicking this link. Finally, let me end with mentioning that there are different styles of referencing. So far, we talked about Harvard referencing. When you mention the surname of the studies you refer to within the text, but there is another way of referencing. Instead of mentioning the surnames, you can just put a number, number one, and in the footnote, you mention the Milanovic. But still, within the system, you have to mention and list all your references at the end of the essay in bibliography. Here, we got Milanovic in the bibliography again. So the most important thing is that whatever system or style you use, just be consistent in your essay. And one more thing. Whatever I said about referencing is not only related to writing an essay. If you're writing a report or any other academic output, 
you should follow the same principles of referencing. Thank you.